everybody, this is Marjorie. Well, it's Friday again. Another week has passed and we've, we've survived it. We've survived another week. Now, here, <laughs> I tell you I had a, a big, big classic story for you this Friday. Well, here it is. Remember last week I says to you that Senga says, well, we're going to try out different hobbies. And she says, they're doing life drawing classes and she signed us up. So, Senga and me, right, we go along and I says, oh, Senga, I'm quite nervous about this because, I mean, I've not seen a naked man since my late departed husband, you know, left. And I said, oh, I'll be awfully embarrassed. And she says, well, try no stare. Try no stare at the man. Just concentrate on the art. Um, and you've got paints and you've got cranes and you've got, what, what do you call it, the, the charcoal, she says, and you can do a lovely drawing. And then you can maybe get it framed and put it in your living room. I says, I'm not wanting a, a man with his wig. Why am I hanging out, hanging up in my living room? Um, so anyway, we were all excited, right? We were quite excited because, I mean, as I said to you before, this is quite unusual for a wee place like this. I mean, this is just a wee, a wee village. And all of a sudden you've got a, ma a man stoning naked with his doodah out, you know, and we're all stoning drawing him. So we get there, right? And there's this, there's this big um, screen round, like a wee podium, a wee podium area. And I says, oh no, Senga, and I'm, I'm, I'm dodding her, right? I says, I think, I think the naked man's behind that screen. And I says, oh, and you know, I could feel I was getting all flushed. I think, I think they need a bit of aircon in here, Senga, because, you know, a lady of a certain age, this is, this is a wee bit too much for me, you know? I've not been this excited since they brought back Blankety Blank. So anyway, they put back the screen. I'm all a gawk, right? The screen goes back and I go, <gasps> Oh, for the love of God. And I nudge, I nudge saying, and I says, take a look. You'll never guess who the male model was. Fat boy, two doors down. Oh, my God. Not a pun of him hanging the right way. He looked like a butcher's windy. I says, Senga, boop. That's enough to make you sick, head. Boop. I says, that's no right. Why on earth would he volunteer to be a naked model in an art class? Look at him. Anyway, the instructor said, now, you will find lots of lovely shapes and crevices to follow, follow the line from one area to the other. I says, I'm going to need a bigger easel, hen. I've not got a big enough easel, but I've only got this wee bit of paper. I can't, I can't fit him on this wee bit of paper. So, absolutely mortified. Then, right, as if that's no bad enough, then he spots me and he's like, hello, darling. I bet you never thought you would see me like this, darling. I says, I'm going to have to have counselling now. I'm not, I'm, that's it. I mean, my sleep pattern's going to be shot, shot out the window. Um, and I said to Senga, I says, see next year, see when I come for my Christmas dinner, don't you dare put a chapalata on my plate because that's put me right off. I mean, it was, uh, it'd be enough to put you off your trifle, you know, so... Um, I says, oh, that's uh, absolutely too much. So anyway, we get, we go home for the art class and we're, we're sitting in the garden. I'm having a wee lemonade to try and recuperate myself. And Senga says, are you all right, Hen? I says, I'm all right. What a week I've had. I've had my, my she shells from the seashore. I've had my gnome. And then I see his, his wee thing. And I says, oh, honest to God, she, she gave me the number for the Samaritans. So I've got the Samaritans. I've got the 24-hour line of the Samaritans to phone. You know, if I wake up in the middle of the night having the nightmares, you know. So then we're sitting there. I'm drinking my lemonade and the motor pours in, right? The fat boy. That's him, him, and he gets out the motor. You should have seen him. He thought he was one of these, you know, <laughs> one of these movie stunts. And he gets out the motor and he's starting with his hand in his hip and he says, what did you think of that, darling? I says... No much, darling. So he went away into the house, was heat hanging. <laughs> oh, I mean, that it's just something you don't expect to see. Anyway, I'm going to have to take the, the rest of the weekend to recover for this. I mean, it's just, it's absolutely no right. So I said to Senga, don't you take me along to something like that again. Find me something nice. So she says, we're going to go to origami. I says, origami? When are we going to origami, Senga? She says, next week, right? We've got the ballroom dancing and we've got the origami. And I says, right, I'll need to get my slow cooker looked out before the origami class so that, you know, I can practice what we make when we get home. So, aye, quite looking forward to that. Anyway, everybody, 
The time has come for me to leave you again for another couple of days. So have a lovely weekend. Enjoy whatever you get up to. Be good. And as I said, if you can't be good, be very bad. All right. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>